the Royals' big right-hander Brad Keller and his four-seam, two-seam slider combination. Opponents only hitting 205 versus Keller, and he has yet to allow a home run. Colin Moran came in hot. He's one for seven in the series. In there, strike three called, and an excellent first inning for Brad Keller. Chad Cole starts for the Pirates. Will be his ninth appearance, his seventh start. Back to Alberto Mondesi. He has been their hottest hitter. Switch hitter, bats left. Strike three called. A slider that meant to, to be on the inner third uh, ended up on the outer edge. Franco really has been clutch of late. Ten for his last 22 with runners in scoring position. Hit sharply, but off of the third baseman's glove. And here comes Merrifield to home plate. The throw is not in time. Boy, I'll tell you, Franco hit that ball hard, and that's a base hit all the way. Alex Gordon has a chance to really hurt him and put the Pirates behind. This is a big at-bat here for Alex. Alex pulls it to the right side. Bell drops the ball. He will get Gordon at first base, but he was going to go home. And the Royals take a 2-0 lead. The Royals continuing to pressure. And that's by putting the ball in play. You got to do that. What a great opportunity here for Gutierrez. Oh, and that oh, one will get wow. away. And the Royals get their third run. Come and again. Keep coming. coming home. And he will score to make it a 4-0 lead. Wow. Boy, Pittsburgh just, their defense is falling apart in this first inning. Oh, man. Check this out. Oh, man. That is so dangerous right there for anyone. No one got a glove on that. That's a straight pitch. I don't know if that was 93 or 94, but man, look at it. So it kicks off now. By the time they, they found out what was going on, two runs, both runs out there end up scoring. Four runs in. Heath is the eighth batter. And with some help from the rookie, Nick Heath, who chases, it's the final out of a disastrous top of the first. Now Bell Polanco. And Reynolds, and now the pitch. Nicky Lopez with a heck of a play to get him out. Nicky continues to lead the major leagues. He's plus seven in defensive run save, and he made a marvelous play from right field. That's right. Right field is where they're playing him, and he's got to take several steps. I mean, he, he took like 15 steps on the run like a shortstop would make in the hole. He's showing his shortstop skills there at second. Got to stay on top. The ball will sail if you don't. Nice play. Salvador Perez gets into one. Left center field, and that ball's a goner. Five nothing Royals. Salvador Perez, a no doubter, jumping on Chad Cool's first pitch of the third inning here. Oh, baby, belt high. It was a no doubter. Number five on the season for Salvador Perez. Who's really been swinging a good bat since he's came, come back and he's six for 11 since coming off the injured list. Salvi has two hits and two runs scored today. He struck out Heath his first time up. Huh? Ball four. RBIs all the same. Yep. And knocks in a run to make it six nothing. The Royals have enjoyed six walks today, and the sixth will drive in their sixth run. And Derek Shelton says, I've seen enough, and it's going to go to Nick Tropiano. And field still in. Good time for Nicky Lopez to check in for the hit in this series. Ball four. Second straight batter will walk with the bases loaded to drive in a run. That makes it 7 nothing as Dozier touches home plate. Witt has walked twice and might have walked for the third time. Oh, And then he gets a base hit to right field. In comes one. In comes two. And the Royals now have a 9 nothing lead. Shock the house. They got a hit with the bases loaded. Way to go, Witt. But Perez, who started the inning with a long home run, will now come up for the second time in this inning. Base hit right field. Lopez is going to be sent home. It's 10 nothing Royals as Merrifield makes it to third base. And a three-hit game for Salvador Perez. He struck out only one. Most of his outs have been ground outs. Got him to hit the ball high in the air to left. Gordon on. Can of corn for Alex. Brad Keller. Four shutout innings. Keller to Tucker. Bounces over to Gutierrez. Bare hands and throws. And that's a heck of a play. One, five, three. Oh, man. If you're, if you're Tucker, Cole Tucker, you're like, 
man. Uh, my uh, days are going pretty bad, and I'm not going that bad. Right? Whenever it hits off the kit, the pitcher's foot, that is an automatic base hit, especially when you can run like he does. But one hop it, Gutierrez with a bare hand, he hummed it over there. I mean, hum baby. He picked it up and wound up and fired a rocket. We'll get a clock on that probably was 90 plus. Dozier, the battery's been on base all three times. Oh. That ball is struck well. Way back in left. And a home run for Hunter Dozier. 11 nothing Royals. 442 foot monster shot by Dozier. Oh, man, I'm telling you. That was swung on, gone immediately. Fastball at 95. This is a short, compact swing. Look at the head position. He went right down, had a nice little uppercut. Four, of course, there's no fans out there to duck. But that was a beauty. Sixth on the season. Only one strikeout. But a lot of ground ball outs. Done. There is a swing and a miss. Just his second strikeout of the afternoon. Outstanding baseball. Shortstop Lopez. Two outs. Line drive to left. Oliveras. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did. And Brad Keller has his first major league complete game shutout. What a catch. Man, was that timely. That would have taken his shutout away had that ball fallen in there. And Olivares says, hey, look what I came up with. And look at the skipper. Yeah, I love the skipper's uh, emotions that he shows. And Brad Keller, you were stellar, no doubt.